Well, this is what I'm piddling with this morning, guys and gals. D44 Mac. I've had it for about a year. Bought it for a little bit of nothing. Haven't spent any time with it. It's a right hand recoil. Anyhow, before I can try to start it, I gotta get this bar off. And to get the bar off, I gotta get the chain off. And uh, for some reason, it's a little bit stubborn. So I put some coil all on it. So I could take the clutch, clutch off, but this has got to come over there anyway. So once I get that off, I'll show you the rest of the saw. Well, I had to take the clutch off. Anyhow, taper shaft with keyway, right hand threads, which of course I started in the wrong direction. Um, let me get a light here. Where's my light? I don't know if you all can see this or not. Um, maybe I can save that. But well, if I can hold this thing up here, you can see the imprint of the bearings on the shaft. I clean that up too. That was a heavy rascal. Anyhow, the air filter system is two layers of this stuff. Looked like it worked pretty good. It's fairly, fairly clean in there. Yeah. So, I guess now, um, need to get the recoil ring wound in the right direction. Somebody wound it in the wrong direction. I ain't gonna say who. When it's on the right side, it my brain don't reverse. Um, anyhow, choke all that's stiff. I mean, something's going wrong there. I have to address that. So the next order is to find out if it's got fire. And to do that, I got to put the starter back on it. Uh, the bar and chain, I got to save. I haven't got anything to fit it. The chain is a full fall. So it says. I hope you don't read that or not. 408 but anyhow I haven't got any other chains or bars so I'm going to take this and uh, soak it in what do you call it evapor rust I had looked to look at the container I'm going to clean it up a little bit Get some of this dirt off of it and then soak it in a vapor rush for a couple of days and see what I can do with it. But these things won't come out. Oh, me. So, well, I came up with this right here. I've done this before. Works pretty good. As long as this thing ain't got a hole in it. I might have picked up the wrong jug of evapor rust. Looks like an awful dark. I might be done use this before. We'll try it. Getting 
tire holding that thing with that hand. Yeah, I've used that before. There we go. So I'll let that set a couple of days. I wish I had started doing this sooner. Wrong. Um, all these saws are different where the clutches and stuff comes off. So I just had this idea. This is what I'm going to start doing from now on. Put it on as it came off. There we go. I get ready to put it back on. I'll know what's what and where it goes. So, hope somebody else might can use that little tip. Hey, y'all. Um, I don't believe this carb was going to get any gas. That's where the gas line hooked. Let me find something. To... Yeah, this will work. <laughs> These old saws, they are a hoot. Any of you, anybody watching that don't have a chainsaw and is thinking about getting one, buy a new one. That ain't all. <laughs> Impulse hole. <laughs> Well, let's see what's behind this door together. <laughs> it keeps getting better. <laughs> wow. Look at that. It feels just exactly like tar. <laughs> now I got this stuff all over me. I can't turn the camera off. <laughs> I'll do it with my nose. Well, we might as well open this together too. I'll let you know when I get it apart. I'm going to try to be gentle with it. Won't no way. Mm. Let's see what's behind this doll. Wow. That thing ain't moving at all hardly. So. You mean there's no slime and tar and all that stuff in here? So. I'll have to uh, 
try to find a kit. There wasn't no way it was going to run like it was. Mmm. Mmm. Come on. That's a low jet, I think. Yeah, that's a low adjustment. O-rings and springs probably ain't no good. Gosh, that's rust. What are these things made of? All right. That's strange. The long one. No, maybe it's not. The long one goes on the high side. This is one reason I like the video what I'm doing. Short one goes on the low side. But man, look at that thing. No wonder it's hard to get loose. Hmm. <sighs> okay. A lot of cleaning. This stuff right here is this is like it's glued on that. Some soaking and some cleaning. Tillerson made in the USA. Where's the model on that? An HL 19C. That might tell me something. So let me go see what I can find out. Get a kit on the way. <laughs> 